Hey guys, my name's Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and enable File Vault encryption for macOS devices. This video is part of a series I'm creating for Intune management of macOS devices, so be sure to stay tuned for other content that I'll be creating, like compliance policies, apps that you can push out to Mac devices, and things like that. So we're in here in the Endpoint Manager Admin Center. This is where you'll perform all of your management activities for all the devices that are enrolled in Intune. The basic things that we want to do here that I'll be showing you under Mac OS, you have the ability here to create compliance policies and configuration profiles. I'll hop into compliance policies first. We'll take a look at that. So within the compliance policy that you can set up here, you can set up the property section of it here under the settings. And under the system security aspect here, you can say that you want to have encryption enabled on the device right here. And this is going to say require. So I'll show you a video of the end user experience when they enroll their device using the company portal app and seeing this messaging to tell them to go turn this on. If it is a BYOD device where you haven't had that already enabled, it'll have them walk through the process of turning on file vault and encrypting that in a workflow that is prompted again from the company portal app. So actually let's go take a look at that now. So this is a Mac OS device here. We've enrolled it, we've signed in, and now it's telling us you need to update the settings on this device. And it's telling the user to turn on disk encryption. So we can click on check settings and it would open up and try to evaluate this again. Well, what they'll need to do is go into the security and privacy section of the portal here, go to file vault, and they would need to put in their credentials, the administrative credentials to turn on file vault. It's very important uh, that they go through this process. The device won't become compliant until they do. If you set up a configuration profile, which we'll see here, you'll be able to see the messaging and you can define what that messaging is to show the user where they can get a recovery key. And then they can go ahead and restart their device. So you go ahead and kick off that process to encrypt the drive on this particular Mac OS device. So back in the portal here, we have the ability again to turn this on so they're directed in that workflow immediately whenever they get the device enrolled for compliance reasons. And then back in here, we have the ability to come into the macOS devices section. And we can see here some of the ones that are already enrolled. And I can take a look and I can see this is in a compliance state. If this wasn't in a non-compliant state because they hadn't turned on file vault yet, after they do that, you can click on the sync button to update the settings here and this will slowly switch into a compliant state. You can also click on device compliance whenever you have something pushed out to the device with one of the policies you create. And you can see which, which of these policies is not in the compliant state. And a lot of times it will be this encryption of data storage on the device is your culprit. So the other piece I wanted to show here, you can set up a configuration profile to immediately encrypt the device with File Vault. And this is the endpoint protection policy. So let me just walk through that with you here. We'll select a platform, select Mac OS, and then we do endpoint protection. So here underneath the Fire Vault settings, you have the ability to define and enable this with a personal key. You can say where the personal key is located. This is going to be located in the company portal website for them. You can paste in that messaging here and I'll show you mine here in just a second. And then the recovery key rotation. This is something that you can do an automatic recovery key rotation on a monthly basis or up to 12 monthly 12 months as far as the automatic rotation goes you can always do this on demand if it is a corporate owned device if it's a personal label device which I'll show you it uh, is not able to be done but you'll want to have this set at one month I, I think is the best practice disable the prompt at sign out here I would leave at not configured you want them to turn this on as soon as they can, especially if it's a device that's going to be accessing corporate data. So I would leave this uh, to not configured. I would also leave the number of times allowed to bypass to not configured because that allows them 
where it requires them to immediately set up the encryption on the device. They don't have a chance to say, I'll do this later, X amount of times, which you'll define here too. So you could do that unlimited. They could continue to bypass it indefinitely as well. So that's what you can do to automatically encrypt this. But if this is an, a personal device that's BYOD and the person already has the device encrypted, they would first need to decrypt the device to be able to set this up. So looking back at my configuration profile here, just to show you this, I put on endpoint protection, properties, settings, file vault. This is the message that I gave to them that shows them where they can get their recovery key. It's in the Intune Company portal website. From any device, they can go there to get it so that they can get the recovery key in addition to me if it is a corporate labeled device. So when I say corporate label device, if you go into Mac OS and you click on one of these, you'll see that the ownership here is classified as personal. You can classify this as personal or corporate and you as the administrator can change this as well too if you really wanted to because when they go through the company portal application to enroll the device, at the end of that enrollment process it says, is this a corporate or personal device? And if they choose personal, you won't be able to see the particular recovery keys here. So if I click on show recovery key, it says this is a personal device. You can only view keys for corporate devices. So that's something that you'll want to take note of. You can always come in here to the property section of the device itself and change the device ownership to corporate. And just acknowledge that you are understanding the results of the ownership change and saving here. The other piece there, this doesn't happen immediately, but you'll see once it turns corporate and they haven't encrypted it already as a personal device, you can then rotate the file vault recovery key on demand if you want to beyond the automated settings of the endpoint configuration. The only problem here comes when, again, the person who has a BYOD device has already encrypted it with file vault encryption, and then they go into enroll in the company portal app you're going to get messages around them needing to unencrypt it first. So if I go into device configuration here, it's got this as succeeded. And if I look at endpoint protection, it's going to have this is not applicable until this registers as a corporate device since I just switched it there. But if I go into one that's that should be labeled that way as well too, if I go into device configuration, you'll see this one's an error. And you can see the recovery key type is an error because file vault is already enabled by the user. So this is a scenario where they would have to decrypt the drive with their personal encryption. And then your managed profile can then encrypt it and you can have access to that recovery key under the recovery key section here. And you have the ability to rotate that at any time that you want. So that's everything I wanted to show you guys from the file vault perspective and the configuration settings here and compliance policies you can create. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, please like or subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more content around Intune and Microsoft 365.